I'm Dr. Wong Cheng Lin, Consultant Ophthalmologist from Penang Adventist Hospital. Diabetic eye disease or diabetic retinopathy is a complication of diabetes. It is caused by high blood sugar level damaging the retina, the back layer of the eye. Diabetic eye disease is very common. Around 1 in 3 people with diabetes would have it at the time when they are diagnosed with diabetes. And patients with diabetes are 25 times higher risk to become blind compared to non-diabetic. Diabetic eye disease is a major cause of blindness in young and working age adults nowadays. Diabetes will damage the blood vessels all over the body, including the tiny blood vessels inside the retina. The retina is the back layer of the eye. It functions like a sensor in a digital camera. It records the images that focus on it and convert it into electrical signals that allow us to see. The retina is supplied by many tiny blood vessels. So what happened is, after many years of prolonged high blood sugar levels in your body, the walls of the blood vessels in the retina will be damaged. It becomes thin and weak. The content inside the blood vessels will start to leak out. It can leak out blood, it can leak out fluid or cholesterol material. And this will cause swelling inside the retina and affect the vision of the patient. And as the disease progresses, the blood vessels of the retina are eventually get blocked, stopping blood flow to the retina. The retina therefore is lack of oxygen and blood supply. So in an attempt to supply blood to the affected area, our eye will react in an abnormal way. It will release a chemical called vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF, to trigger the growth of new blood vessels. But these new blood vessels are not the normal healthy blood vessels. They are weak and fragile. They might bleed into the eye. It can lead to scarring and wrinkling of the retina. And if this is severe enough, it can even pull on the retina, lead to tractional retina detachment, which can result in severe vision loss or even blindness. In the early stages, very often, there's no symptoms at all. Although blood vessel changes or early leakage already started in the retina, most of the patients actually they are not aware that they already have diabetic eye disease. Early stages usually detected during routine eye screening of a known diabetic patients. At the later stage, patients may experience blur vision, loss of central vision when reading or driving, seeing distorted images, seeing spots or shadow floatings, and some may have sudden loss of vision. The treatments are depends on the severity of the disease. If you have early stages of diabetic eye disease, it can be managed with monitoring and controlling the risk factor. You might not need treatment right away. However, your eye doctor will closely monitor your eyes to determine when you might need treatment. And it's also very important to keep your diabetes under very good control. This can usually slow down the disease progression. If you have severe stage of diabetic eye disease, you need prompt treatment to prevent blindness. A few treatment options are available. We can perform retina laser to stop the growth of abnormal blood vessels. This can help to stabilize the vision and prevent further vision loss. Another treatment option is injecting medication into the eye. You can inject vascular endothelial growth factor inhibitors or NTVEGF directly into the eye to help to stop the blood vessels from leaking and reverse the growth of abnormal new blood vessels. This is effective to reduce the swelling of the retina. This treatment not only can stabilize the vision, it can even improve vision. Another medication that can be used is steroid. If patients have advanced form of diabetic eye disease causing severe bleeding in the eye or causing tractional retina detachment, a surgery called vitrectomy can be done to remove the blood and scar tissue. Vision loss can be prevented if diabetic eye disease is detected early. As diabetic eye disease often remains no symptoms until at one stage, 
and even those with well-controlled diabetes can still develop it. So it's very important for every diabetic patient to have their eye checked at least once a year by an eye doctor. This yearly screening should start the moment you are diagnosed with diabetes mellitus, even you have no vision problem. By getting regular eye examinations, will allow early signs of diabetic eye disease to be detected and treated before further damage occurs. It's much easier to control when it's caught early. This can reduce the risk of blindness by 95%. You can also slow down the development of diabetic eye disease by keeping your blood sugar well controlled. If you have other medical conditions such as high blood pressure or high cholesterol, it should be treated and kept under control. Because again, this is all about, about blood vessels and your blood vessels are going to be damaged by high blood pressure and high cholesterol as well. So it's very important to follow up carefully with your doctor to keep your medical conditions under control. You should also practice healthy lifestyle, eat a healthy diet, exercise regularly and stop smoking. All this can prevent the development and slow down the progression of diabetic eye disease. If you or your family member have diabetes, get an eye screening as soon as you can and a regular yearly eye check. Don't let diabetes steal your vision. Early detection, timely treatment and careful follow-up can prevent vision loss from diabetic eye disease.